A wild scene unfolding on a runway in Peru as a plane collided with a fire truck, killing two men inside the truck and leaving two capital region women stranded in a foreign country. New Sen ABC's Juliana Bruno speaking with them this morning about their experience and also shares their journey to try and get back home. Julia Champagne and Catherine Futrell thought they'd be home in Albany by now with just memories of surfing and fun from their Peruvian vacation. But travel woes got in the way when a Latam Airlines plane and fire truck collided on a runway while the women were waiting in the airport. We were like, oh, there's a lot of people at the airport counter, but like all the announcements were in Spanish. And we were like, we'll just kind of wait and see what's happening. Eventually, a bilingual man explained to them what was really going on. While the crew and passengers of the plane are all okay, two firefighters in the truck were killed. We could see the plane like still on the runway afterwards, um, but we then suddenly like every TV in the airport was just showing the footage of the crash. The video shows massive amounts of smoke billowing from the plane. Latam Airlines said it did not know why the fire truck was on the runway in the first place. The prosecutor's office where the airport is located said an investigation has been opened into the cause of the accident. Meanwhile, travelers like Catherine and Julia are hoping they don't have to wait much longer to get back to the U.S. Like the airport was literally just reopened at midnight tonight and our airline is saying they're not flying out till Wednesday but other airlines are flying normally so we are kind of just like caught in the middle and the women say they're on standby in case a sooner flight home is available Juliana Bruno News 10 ABC